That's beautiful. I haven't heard enough of that. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. So again, uh, I'm Ilya Lauber. Uh, I've been organizing with Occupy Kansas City for quite some time. As a lot of you know, I'm in the Direct Action Work Group and the Black Caucus. I'm also a single mom. I've worked and paid into Social Security. And a few years ago, due to disability, I had to take an early retirement. And uh, my daughter and I now rely on Social Security, Disability, and Medicare. So yes, I am a member of the 99%. And like many of you, I'm fed up with the 1% and corporations taking advantage of the American people. Right? I'm here today to put corporations like Kansas City Power and Light, Bank of America, and Computer Science Corp on notice. The tax dodging hurts working for and disabled people, such as myself, my daughter, and because there aren't enough tax dollars in the social program. I'm here to deliver to Casey Pino a clear message <coughs> that corporate, their corporate tax dodging and gouging of the 99% has to end. We pay our fair share, and so should they. <laughs> any federal taxes for three years while making $222 million in profit. Yeah. They told investors they don't plan to pay taxes until 2017. Yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't stop there. KCPNL has not only had multiple years free of paying nothing in federal taxes, they received almost $40 million in tax rebates courtesy of you, the working people of this country. No. Prior to the onset of my disability, I worked many years in corporate America. I've seen firsthand how corporations break laws and simply justify this with their responsibility to their shareholders or their bottom line. In my last career, I worked for a security firm, and there I witnessed the epitome of Wall Street greed. I watched thousands of people lose their life savings from a few thousand dollars to millions of dollars. And I myself lost nearly 50% of my retirement in just a few months. For many years, I wondered why the American people didn't take a stand. I knew I simply couldn't do it myself. So today, I am proud to see all of you marching the streets once again to stand up for what's right. Yeah. Yeah. We must continue to organize and take a stand. We must fight back against corporate tax dodgers and other forms of criminal behavior by the corporations and the 1% in Kansas City and across the nation. In great numbers, we have power to demand corporations and the 1% pay their fair share. Our power is in numbers, and only we can stop the 1% from bankrupting our government and stop the cuts and declining benefits to local, state, and federal programs that benefit all of us. Together, everyday people like ourselves can stop the 1% from lining their bank accounts with money they took from the 99%. Together, we can stop them from screwing their responsibilities. Together, we can make them pay their fair share of taxes, like all of us do. Today, the 99% comes together in solidarity to tell KCPNO and all corporate tax teams, pay up. We the people can't and won't take it anymore. Thank you. Yeah.